Hi folks, I'm Len Brown, the director and producer of an exciting new documentary film called Engineering Tragedy, The Ashtabula Train Disaster. This is the story that recounts the events of December 29, 1876, when a railroad bridge collapsed during a blizzard, sending a luxury train carrying 172 people into a 70-foot gorge smashing into a frozen river. It was the worst train bridge disaster in American history, and 97 people lost their lives. Now, this is just a short, informal video giving all of our supporters and team members an update on the trip that Patty and I took recently, scouting out film locations in Columbus, Ohio, and Strasburg, Pennsylvania. The first place we went on May 24th was Columbus, Ohio, to the Ohio Village, which is a 19th century town located right next to the Ohio Historical Society Center. This place was fantastic and will make a great stand-in for the town of Ashtabula. Here are some shots that we took of the streets, buildings, and interiors of some of the different buildings. As you know, one of the places rescuers took victims after the disaster was the American Hotel. And wouldn't you know it, they actually have an American Hotel right here at the village. Notice the old telegraph wires on the poles outside the hotel and the telegraph that's inside the hotel. Some of the places we plan to film are the town hall, where, as you can remember in the story, the mayor was presiding over a lawsuit at the time when someone alerted him to the disaster that had happened. We also will be filming the streets covered with snow and citizens being alerted to the disaster by the fire bell and running to the scene. And, of course, we need to film the victims being carried to the different homes and locations throughout the town while people attempted to render aid to the injured. Another great location and stand-in for the film will be the freight office, where, as you remember in the story, many of the dead were taken and laid out in the floors or in boxes for relatives to come and identify the victims. This building served as kind of a temporary morgue, and the freight office here at the Ohio Village is perfect. Obviously, we have visited during the summer with leaves on the trees, so you're going to have to kind of imagine the village in the wintertime with snow and no leaves on the trees. Another great thing is this village is closed to the public in the winter, which is, of course, when we plan to film. So this is going to work great to our advantage. As you can see, this is going to be a great film location. All we need is to add snow, actors in period clothes, and horses to bring it to life. Our next stop was six and a half hours away in Strasburg, Pennsylvania at the Strasburg Railroad. It was here we met the train station manager, Steve Burrell. Steve was a great help and is even going to be one of our extras during filming. I love his handlebar mustache. He gave us a great tour of all the train cars that will stand in for the Pacific Express No. 5 on her fateful trip. Some of the cars the Strasburg Railroad have in their collection date back to the 1850s and will be perfect for our film. Let me show you some of the cars, their woodwork, and beautiful craftsmanship.
while we were here, we took time to ride the train and feel what it was like to ride the rails during that time period. The train's engine is not from the 19th century, so we'll not be filming it. To get the engineers of the Pacific Express No. 5 in action and driving the train, we went across the street to the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania. Here they have an 1875 engine that we're allowed to use with a green screen to get the cab shots we need. Imagine our engineers at the control of this train driving through a winter blizzard toward the Astabula Bridge. The museum has a huge collection of trains and even has a working telegraph office with museum people that know real Morris code and can dress up to play the parts we need. Well, thanks for joining us on this film scouting trip and we look forward to bringing you more exciting updates as we make the film Engineering Tragedy. So stay tuned.